the contour density plot is very similar to the heat map that we saw up above. I'd say this relates a little bit to the kernel density estimation plot uh, from CBAR. I, I like this because it shows again the same thing. It allows us to really highlight where the density uh, in our bivariate relationship is a little bit more detailed than we would get in the heat map that kind of groups things into square into a square grid. So a little bit more understanding of kind of the, the real flow of the data. A cool thing about this is that we're able to add the actual counts to the value, like how much data is actually appearing in each given ring. That's one thing that we just never really were able to understand with Seaborn. With Plotly, we're able to add these, you can see these numbers right here and really get an understanding of how much data is actually, you know, represented in this density ring. In this density ring, oh, there's 10 here, there's 15 here, 20 over in this area. And the cool thing is you, because you can hover over these, you can just visualize this a lot easier than you can even see. It's kind of color starts to lose a little bit of value here, but when you can hover over it, you can really highlight and really get down and see this. So this is doing the same thing as our KDE plot that we learned a lot about already. So really helping us when we have too much data and we really want to understand what, where's the density that that's supporting this bivariate relationship. This is made a little bit easier with this ability to say, okay, oh, in this, this density ring is this much and this, this much and this much. So you can really get a better sense of how much data are we really talking about at any given point in this bivariate relationship.